Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Julianne, and this is all about my life living in Seoul, South Korea. Today, I'm gonna to be doing one of my most requested videos, and that is what I wear as an English teacher in South Korea. So I will be giving you guys a few outfits that I wear throughout the week, and some things that I think are essential and that you should have in your closet that you can wear to work, but also transition into your daily life to help make packing a little bit easier for you guys, and also make sure you're not spending too much money on outfits that you don't really need to spend money on. Before we start, I wanna let you guys know all the clothes that you're gonna see are either from Zara, H&M, and then a few pieces will be from stores in Korea, but majority of them will be from Zara and H&M. I've had all these pieces for two plus years now, so they're really great quality, they've lasted me a while, and I don't think I'll be able to find exact links for what I'm showing you, but since these are the basics, I feel like Zara and H&M will always have something similar to what I'm showing you on their websites right now. Also, my school, I can dress business casual, so everyone's school is gonna be a little bit different. Some people might work at a school where they're really strict and they really want you to dress up and wear blazers and like look really great. Other schools are kind of like mine where they're a bit more chill. Sometimes you can wear flare pants and a hoodie and it'll be okay. And then other days like dress up and wear like a knit sweater and like dress pants. And then some schools like my last school, I could wear leggings if I wanted to and a hoodie. They did not care what I wore as long as it was not actual sweatpants. So everyone's school is gonna be completely different. And also all of the outfits that I'm gonna be showing you guys today, I wear with sneakers. I love sneakers. I think sneakers are the best option for summer, spring, whatever. Um, you can wear these with like booties and stuff like that. I just don't because I am nervous to be like walking, especially now in the winter, if there's ice or snow. Also, everybody might have different rules um, with their school and shoes. I take off my shoes when I teach at my kindergarten, so I just walk around in my socks or slippers. And then at my elementary school, I either wear slippers or I wear the shoes that I wear all day. So me, personally, I think just wearing sneakers to work is easier because I know for a few hours I'm gonna be walking around and teaching in them, and that's just what's more comfortable for me. So now that I got that out of the way, let me show you guys what I wear in a typical week teaching in South Korea. First thing I think all teachers need in their wardrobe is a black turtleneck bodysuit. This one is lightweight, it's easy to layer, super flattering, and also great because I can wear it to work, but that can transition to everyday life. Then you need some dress pants. These ones are from Zara. They're super comfortable. They honestly feel like pajamas. And then I also have them in linen, which is really great for spring and fall when it's a little bit warmer out. And then along with black, I think everyone should mix in some color and get a pair of tan ones. These ones I really love because they're adjustable and they have elastic in the back. You really just want to bring pants that are professional but also really comfortable because you're constantly going to be moving throughout the day. So you want something that you feel like you can move easily in and won't be restricting at all. And then sometimes when I want to feel a little bit sporty, a little bit edgier, I like to throw on some cargo pants and these are really great, especially if I want to go get dinner or drinks after. I feel like it's more my style. Again with the black turtleneck bodysuit, but this one in a tank top version because this one you can easily wear across all four seasons. I like to wear this and just throw over a cardigan. For teaching, I like to wear short cardigans, long cardigans. I'm a big cardigan girl. And obviously you can get this turtleneck in a bunch of different colors or you can find a lot of bodysuits that are t-shirt versions, which I think is great because sometimes you obviously will get hot during teaching. So if you have a t-shirt version of the bodysuit, it's way easier because you can throw on a cardigan but also take it off and it'll still be appropriate because in Korea, you definitely do not want to be showing your shoulders. So I would never just wear this bodysuit without a covering. Last essential piece I think all teachers need in their wardrobe, especially for fall and winter, are knit sweaters. This is my go-to when I'm feeling lazy. I just put on a knit sweater, tuck it into dress pants, and boom, I'm done. Easiest fit and also super comfortable. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm not used to doing these type of videos, so please, I'm sorry if it wasn't perfect or the best way to do it. But let me just give you guys a rundown again of what I think you guys need. I think a bodysuit, a short sleeve, one like this that you can wear throughout any season of the year because you can just put a cardigan over, a jacket over. And then I also think a black turtleneck. I say turtleneck, I know some people might not like it or like a mock neck, but only because you're teaching and you bend down so much more during teaching than you might realize. So I think that going with a mock neck or turtleneck is the best option just to make sure 
you know, especially as girls, nothing's showing. Um, that happened to me one time. I wore just like a scoop neck and I bent down and one of the kids actually told their mom, they saw down my shirt and then I had to have one of the teachers tell me that that happened and I was really embarrassed because I feel like I usually dress pretty professional and like really covered up and so the one time I did that, that happened. So I will not be doing that ever again. So I always go for mock neck or turtlenecks and then dress pants. Dress pants here are so popular. Everyone wears dress pants whether it's for work or going out or just out for dinner. So dress pants is something that I wear now every single day whether it's for work or not. So I think having a tan pair like a beige pair and then a black pair you can never go wrong. And then just having a few cardigans and knit sweaters. It does get really cold here obviously in the winter. So you can go for like a short style, long style. I feel like short and long style cardigans look really good with dress pants. And then I would just say any like white basic tee that you can tuck in. I obviously own a lot of black, so most of the stuff I showed you is black, but you guys can change up the color, put like a white tee in, anything that you feel comfortable in. I think the biggest thing is you feel comfortable wearing these clothes and you feel comfortable moving in them all day. You don't need to go out and buy like crazy blazers and stuff like that. But I'm being honest, I don't know anybody that actually like teaches in a blazer and teaches in like super crazy fancy clothes so you need to wear what's going to be comfortable you're a teacher you need to be able to move with the kids and be dancing and singing and bending down without feeling like you can't move properly or anything like that so my biggest thing is just buy comfy clothes don't spend a lot of money on like a bunch of like random pieces stick to your basics hope this helped you guys out and i will see you next time Bye bye